fucking right to it. Yeah. Got him. Already about to enter on the lake. So that's someone's spearing shack right there. You gotta put the ice above the water up yeah. here. Or your own spearing hole. Yep, that way someone doesn't drive into it because there's not really trees you can put in the water to mark it. So there's the slough where it comes straight through Lake Thompson right there. As you can see, there's a lot of people on the slough. Don't want to get too close to it in the truck. And we'll call this good. We're gonna gear up real quick. Hopefully get on some big toothy critters. We got about three degrees out here, but there is no wind. It is a sunny day, so hopefully the pike are cruising. We should be sitting on about three and a half feet of uh, water and about a foot and a half of ice, almost two feet of ice. So we do have a special bait that we're gonna try too that uh, I haven't actually tried before, but they say it works. Good fresh chub. You want him? Yeah, get him, get him. Got him? Maybe. Yeah, not really. But he's a fish. Pike. Yeah. Nice. That was on a dead show. That's not a bad pike. That's oh. a good pike. <laughs> How was that? That's a good pike. We haven't even got set up yet. <laughs> That's not a bad pike that right there. That was what I did was I took and I hung that chub just like that. That was on a dead chub? Yep. Fresh dead chub. That didn't All take right. long. There's one. First pike on the ice. Yeah. There we go. So this was not the plan. We were not planning on staying in a permanent shack doing anything like this. We pulled up, came over, talked fishing with the guys that were actually staying in here. They were like, you know what? We're leaving. The uh, owner of the shacks and the lodging and everything were right next to us. And he was like, you know, these guys are leaving. You want to come in? fish in here go for it so that's exactly what we're doing we're just moving everything in pretty nice guys especially the guy that runs it um he was like you know what you guys are gonna fish for the day i ain't moving it stay in here and have yourself a good time so huge shout out to him dakota back roads outdoors i'll put the link below and i'll put it right here on the screen if you're up here in south dakota and you want to do ice fishing the easy way real affordable price super nice guy i think he said he had five shacks like this and lodging it'll be on the screen right here definitely give him a call and uh you guys can figure something out have a good time like that me and the old man are gonna have a good time in here yeah. <laughs> already got one on the board yeah and as you can see right here we are only in 3.3 feet of water we're gonna get some lines down take y'all with us and hopefully whip up some biggins and have a good time Peace! <laughs> he always says that. <laughs> All right. Pretty nice when you can pull right up to the shack, stay warm. It's only about eight degrees out right now. One right out of here. And we're gonna start the tip ups. <laughs> gonna go right below the ice. I'm on the hunt for a big old pike. All right, number two going down. This one, we're using a big old smelt. We're going for a 40 incher today, hopefully. Big old smelt set. Kind of do tight quarters here. There's so many people fishing. That'll work. Got three tip ups set. I already got one pike on the ice. I might get to jigging a little bit, I don't know. That's the only bad thing around here, especially when there's a good bite going on. There's so many people around on such a small body of water. Don't really feel like it's, you know, professional etiquette to just go scatter tip-ups around. So I got three right around the shack. Just kind of waiting on a tip-up. I might bring the chair in, sit here, jig, crack a cold one, and uh, spend some nice time with the old man, see if we can rip up some biggies. Let that stabilize. Camera pan optics down this hole. We're gonna be fishing here and here. Watch the underwater camera and hopefully pluck them up through these holes as the school start moving through, especially later towards evening. As you can see right here, there's my jig. Oh, with the pipe coming right to it. Look at this, Dad. Oh, he didn't want anything to do with it. Let's see if I can turn it and see where he went. Ah, oh, he vanished. But there's so many people driving around, the fish are pretty skittish, so. We can get people stationary. We got our jig right here on the camera. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, he's fishing out of that hole. I can see his behind me. We got the tip-ups out. I'm gonna go set one or two more out. And we're living. All right, 
chub going down. I wish I had more live chubs, but they froze on the way up here, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, good luck, bud. Let's see if I can get some birch and pike to move through. Alright, we had a dull moment for about an hour there. Is it off to the side? It's on there. Is it on there? Yeah. Got it? We actually have two flags up. Little feller. Little feller, let's see what's on the other one. Alright, I'm gonna go get this one. We had a dead period there for about an hour, and we had two flags. Yep. Oh. Nope. Oh, he's still alive. Some of our chubs actually came back to life. So now we have a couple live chubs. This one must have just got barely picked up. Don't have to go very deep with these. There we go. That's just a little feller. Yep. Oh, it didn't even swallow. It's just right there. Fat little guy. Probably just let him go. We'll let this little feller go. Go. Right back down. All right. Yeah. Not quite big enough. Get a new chub. Maybe things will start to pick up. I'm gonna put another live chub on this guy. Set him back out for a big boy, hopefully. Kind of get him lively. Got another flag. Came back to get a minnow. That flag went up, so did this one. He's still on there, ain't he? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Give him the yeet. Got him. Not very big, I don't think. But he's still a fish. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Still got the chub, but he... Oh, his chub's still alive. Still alive. Nice. <laughs> All right. That was on the double hook rig. Yeah. I get the pliers. Just a little guy. I'll put the chub back in the bucket for now real quick. Still alive. Oh yeah, he's alive, we're good. All right, well, that's uh, fish number three. Honestly, it's been pretty slow today, but kind of hoping on this evening bite to come and pick around, so. Down you go, big shark. Yeah, he's doing good. Huh? Well, that was nice. Yeah. Not a giant, but. Yeah, see if it'll start to pick up. I'm gonna go try to catch a big old mongo crappie or perch. Doing the hillbilly hand fishing. I'm gonna reset this one up real quick. All right, we're doing something a little bit different. We talked to the local kids right here. They said sometimes the fish can be finicky. In the shadow of the shacks that we're in, they won't come near it and they won't hit the baits. So they're laying down the hole. We're only in three feet of water. They're just laying down the hole and hand fishing. It doesn't cast a shadow uh, below you, so the fish can't see the shadow and they're more apt to hit, they said. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna set the camera up right here, do a little bit of hand jigging, wait for the flag to go off and see if it works. Oh, a little feller. Little feller. Yep. He was spinning like no other. Well, another little pikey guy. This is just a little snot rocket. There you go. All right, grow up, little guy. There he goes. Oh, first fish for me on the day. I'm gonna go try the hand fishing. It's freaking going again. Oh, it's spinning now. I'm gonna get you this time. Got him. Third time's a charm. Got him this time. It's just a little feather though. Hey, don't kill my chub. Golly. Literally flag up. Went and checked it. Nothing. Set it back down, flag up again. Literally walked in the shack. Look out. It's back up. This little guy must have just been sitting there trying to get some free lunch. Alright. Well. Good shape. Nothing too big, but still kind of fun. Finally, I got him. Here he goes. There. There he goes. All right. Well, maybe a big boy will lurk through. Honestly, I'm setting him just below the ice, and it's working pretty good. Oh, 
he broke me off. That pike smoked it like three times. Oh, that thing's spinning. Well, go ahead, no, get it. Right. I just used my... Yeah? Lost him. Yep, he was barely on there. Cracked. <laughs> Darn it, he must not have had it very good. Yeah. No, he just dropped it. Robbed me. It was spinning until right as I got here. Dang it. All right, let's try it. We should get a hit here pretty soon. Let's go get him. We gotta fly him. Still spinning. Yeah, go ahead. I get him. Got him. I wasn't letting that one get away. <laughs> a little, little, little bit bigger, but. Yep, yeah, not bad. All right. I'll go get the flyer. Pretty nice. You can lay down, take your easy in the shack. We actually saw a pike swimming through on camera. Not sure if I got that or not on uh, this camera, but it's very well might have been the same one. And he smoked the chubs, so nothing too big to brag about, but a pike's a pike. Pike are pretty cool. What is this, number? Six or seven or yeah. yeah, something like that. Honestly, the first one was the biggest. All right, can't complain. We just go hang out in the shack yeah, and we'll warm up. And yeah, out the window some more. Yeah, <laughs> must start looking into getting more permanent shacks. It's pretty nice. Go set everything up, especially if you don't have to bounce around. You do that. You come in here and uh, yeah, you hang out, have some cold ones, watch the underwater camera and. Honestly, the jig. Yeah. <laughs> My dad got a last minute pike. A good one? There he is. Oh, yeah. A little bit bigger than the rest. Yeah, a little better. Nothing too well, big. Too big, but he's nice. Yeah. He has another jig in his mouth. Oh, really? Someone's jig. Had him earlier, huh? It's a nice looking jig, actually. <laughs> well, we got the jig out of him. All right, buddy. You're free. There he goes. Well, last minute pipe, can't <laughs> complain. <laughs> it's dark out. Yeah. Guy was nice enough. He said we'd come back in the morning. Whoo! Holy bejeebers, it's cold. All right, guys. Well, honestly, we came up here for the pike. Um, we were hoping for a big one. That didn't happen. Our first one was the biggest one we got. We got the uh, Another little extra pike right there as we we're packing up, but uh, it's kind of fun for us because around home we don't really have that many lakes with pike. There's basically only two, and they're pretty educated fish, and they're kind of tough to catch sometimes, especially uh, early in the year. And later in the year when they go in the shallows, they're a little bit easier. But had a good time with the old man. We chased some two sea cruisers around, and uh, it's freaking cold out here. So yeah, that being said, still got some fish, and uh, had a good time with the old man chasing two sea critters. Yeah, already. All right, you guys, we got something new for you in the kitchen today. Uh, we like doing experiments and stuff. As you guys could see, we kept the first pike, did a little bit of cleaning process on him. We we're gonna attempt to make some gore, uh, gourmet pike dish. Um, she had a pretty good idea in mind, so we're here giving her a go. This is kind of the ingredients we're working with right here, and we are, honestly, I don't really know what we're making. Um, Take her away. <laughs> We're making ranch and bacon pasta salad. Ranch, bacon, pasta salad with the pike uh, gourmet edition. We're going to try to whip her up, and we got a fairly decent northern there at the beginning, so we got the northern right here. We're going to give her a go in the kitchen, try to make a pike gourmet meal. I don't know. She just came up with it, and we're going to give her a go. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. All right, so she's doing the pasta salad stuff. I'm gonna whip up the fish. We're gonna mix her together. We have a couple of special ingredients that we're gonna throw a little twist on things, so it'll be interesting. We're gonna kind of cleanse out the fish. 
A lot of you guys ask how Pike is and say uh, you're not really sure how Pike is. How do you compare it? Honestly, it's just up there with walleye. It's actually very good if you know how to clean it and uh, you can do it right. It's one of my favorite ones, actually. I'm going to whip up this stuff. She's going to work on the old pasta. We'll be eating good. Cajun Shore launch. Sash, I'm going to need you to crack the egg. My egg cracking ain't expertise. <laughs> Mind if I do. See if you can do it. No shell. Oh boy, no pressure. Hey! <laughs> so what we're gonna do that's a little bit different. We're gonna throw some, uh, so they're actually spicy pickles, very, very spicy pickles. If you like spicy things, uh, try these. We're gonna throw this in with some of the fish that we're cooking, give it a little twang. I was gonna do the spicy olives, but I don't know if that would go good. We might throw those on top or something later, but we're gonna use the spicy pickle juice, mix her in with the Northern and uh, give her a little twist, so. Oh, and we do have the slap your mama too. We're going extra spicy today. And the oil in the pan. Let that heat up. Get to the piking. And we're going over there. Um, struggling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna snack on them if we're not gonna use them. Big boys, these are really good. Let me try one of them. I don't know how olive brine or juice or whatever you'd say that would be on fish, but. Actually, really good. Oh, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they got a little kick to them. Now we do the pike. Here we are. Gotta add the milk. And we're gonna wait for these to cook, give them the flip. Now, the old hot pickle juice is going in. Oh yeah. Give her a little twang. <laughs> oh yeah, got the pickle juice going in there now. Ranch. Bacon. <laughs> Ranch. All right, let's give her the flip. And the noodles. Nice and steamy. Let her cook and it's looking pretty good. Yeah, all right. Just making the noodles nice and cool since it was boiling. So you want to get them cool to mix with the seasoning and stuff. Pops time. Uh, no, we do not know what we're doing before. We just kind of come up with a plan. We're like, you know what? We're gonna try her and it turns out pretty good, honestly. Just come up with something and it's like, sure. I'm gonna give these the flip. And we're gonna turn it like this since this is obviously the hotter side. Give her a couple minutes on that side, we'll be eating good. Nice Ooh, mix. that actually looks really good. Mm -hmm. It works, Ash. Thanks. So just an up close, that's what it was. Ranch, bacon, pasta, vegetable blend, and seasoning. Smells good. That's a little crispy chicken nugget. Mmm, <laughs> it's really good. Okay. Yeah. Can you taste the spice? A little bit. Really good, though. That's hot. Oh, yeah. Look at that nice white meat. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. That's flaky. There we are. Last one. And give her the turn so it gets even. Almost forgot to slap your mama on this side. We're good. Throw some pike on top. And that is what you call a gourmet pasta right there. And we got some pike left over. You're gonna dive right in. <laughs> Big boy. Mmm, <laughs> tastes good. Can you taste the spice from the pickle and stuff? A little bit. Yeah. All right, that is the finished product right there. And that is it mixed together. Yeah. Is it as gourmet as we hoped? It's like a 9.5. Pretty good. All right. It's pretty up there. We're gonna dive right on in. Let's see which one. We're just gonna go for a big boy. 
You can definitely taste a little bit of the spice with the pickle juice. Yeah. It's not like overloading though. It's like a spicy ranch pasta mm -hmm. with northern. You guys will have to try this sometime. I'll drop everything down below what we used. Uh, slap your mama. I'll just tell you. Wait, slap your mama, the spicy pickle juice, the ranch and bacon pasta. We gotta get a pipe, of course, but any type of fish would work, but it's pretty gourmet. We were going for gourmet. I don't know if we're top tier gourmet, but that was pretty good. So we're gonna dig in. We're gonna kind of enjoy this. And yet again, another experiment in the kitchen that uh, turned out pretty good. We have had some bad ones, but this one is definitely up there and did a good job. That was, that was a good idea, so. All right, guys, well, that's uh, another experiment in the kitchen down, and it was, uh, I don't know if it's quite up there with top tier gourmet, but it was pretty gourmet for us being on the more. The redneck gourmet, that's what there we call go. it. Redneck gourmet. Yeah, all in all, pretty good. Tastes very good. Uh, the spicy pickle juice and a little bit of twang definitely added to it, and uh, all in all, it was a fun time. Out there with the old man catching pike, having a good time, and uh, we didn't get any biggins. We're still on the hunt for a biggin, but we got a couple more outings and a couple more times going up north. And just giving her a go. That's all you can do is try, and uh, we're having fun doing it. And we're catching fish. Sometimes you don't even catch fish when you're going for vegan so we're at least catching some fish and uh, having a good time out there so so overall did pretty good in the kitchen good idea sasha actually turned out very good if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget that subscribe button we'll catch you on the next adventure have a good one got him